to learn and play a little bit of it yourself. Class is ready to be in session. It's going to be a great time. We can't think of any better teachers than Heidi and Susan. Heidi Copeland's dazzled us here before. She has Susan Ritter along with her this year to make it even better. So here's your chance to become authentic Irish masters of music and welcome, please, Heidi and Susan. Make noise. 
right there in the front. How do you make it make noise? Can you tell me with your words? You blow through it. 10 points. Good job. You're going to blow through this end. Not through this end. You're going to blow through this end. But there is a special way of doing it, all right? If you blow too hard and too fast, like as hard as you can, it's going to sound like this. You hear how that quieted the room and it broke a lot of people's eardrums? Let's not have 20 whistles doing that all at once, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice how to blow into the whistle, not just yet. I want everybody to listen first because if everybody's playing while we're talking, then it's gonna get really loud, okay? So we're gonna play together when it's time and I'll let you know. So, first, we're gonna get really quiet. And bring it down for a minute. So, this is an exciting day and things are really exciting. But if you blow into the whistle and things are like with your air very excited and very loud, the whistle is going to sound very excited and very loud and it's not going to sound good. We want it to sound good, all right? So we're going to blow in very slow, warm air into the whistle. So we're going to practice that first. Let's go. Who knows how to blow over a pop bottle lid and have it make noise? Yeah, okay. You know, you gotta do it nice and slow, think warm air. Maybe if you're softly blowing a baby lion. Very slow. So what we're gonna do, we're not gonna put any fingers on, on the whistle at all. We're just gonna blow very quietly and softly with think warm, slow, soft air. Good job. Now if you start to blow, if it blows too fast, if the air gets too fast and too excited, it might start sounding like this. Woo, you don't want that. So if it starts to sound like that, just nice and slow and warm, okay? All right. Now, here's how we do the fingers for your whistle. All right, left hand. Everybody raise your left hand. All right, left hand right here. It's gonna go the, the top. Top hole, first finger. Second hole, middle finger. Third hole, ring finger. All right, so I'm gonna count the holes when I say first, one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Just so we're all on the same page. So we're gonna cover with our left hand. One, two, three. Right hand, in the air. All right, four, five, Got it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, we are gonna play the note. That is when you cover all the holes with your fingers and make sure you're covering the holes completely. Some of you, like me, have really tiny hands. So you wanna make sure that it's the very widest part of the tip of your finger, so the part right behind the fingernail is covering all of every hole, okay? So we're gonna cover all the holes completely with the tips of our fingers, and then we're gonna blow into the whistle with the warmest, you hear it? There's some, some high notes up there we want to get even slower and quieter with your breath. And it'll go down to the lower octave. Good job, you guys. All right. All right. So we're learning warm, slow air. That's actually really, really important, and a lot of everything else will build upon that. So this is gonna be a piece of cake because you guys got that down. All right, first note of the tune that we're gonna learn. Just your left hand covering one, two, and three. So I'm gonna say one, two, three. Here's the cool thing about when you're playing the whistle. For the most part, for the most part, it's, you're not like doing different combinations of different holes. Either no, no fingers are covered or you're going one, two, three, four, five, six. So if all six holes are covered, then you're doing this. If only three holes are covered, you're doing those. If two holes are covered, you're doing those. Very easy, so it's a lot less complicated than you think, all right? So when I say one, two, three, four, five, six, that's just how many holes are being covered and just burp, 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 burp. All right, so we're gonna start with three. And this is uh, the key of this uh, whistle. For those of you guys who are very interested in music, this is called a D whistle. It's in the key of D, and this note is a G. So, for those, but I'm gonna do numbers because not everybody is familiar with like musical tonations and stuff like that. All right, so, G, let's all play a G. Remember, warm, slow air. All right, 
Next note, note number two, is a B or just one. So just put that top one down. All right, so now what we're gonna do, did you guys play recorder in school? Okay, I'm gonna go faster then. You guys did this last year, so I'm, we're good. Anybody else played? I just wanna make sure I don't leave anybody behind. All right, all right, so the first part of the tune of the first part, the first part of the first part of this tune goes da 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 da. So three, one, three, one, three, one, and then six, six. All right, so we're, we're just gonna start with three, one, three, one, three, one. That's it. That's all we're gonna do right now, okay? We're going nice and slow. So one, two, here we go. And all right, you got that. All right, so that last note is a D, and it's the high D, so you're gonna blow just a little bit faster. So instead of it sounding like this, you're gonna blow that air just a little bit colder and a little bit faster, so it sounds like this. Yeah, that's the magic of the whistle. Yeah, so the first part sounds. All right, we're gonna try it all together. So three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Here we go. One and two, and here we go. And. Can we try it one more time? All right, here we go. We're gonna try it again. One and two and here we go. Nice, all right. The second part, we're gonna do four. I'm just simplifying a little bit for you guys, so I just wanna make sure I'm doing it right. All right, so we're gonna go. So it's, Irish music is all about patterns. So these are all patterns. It's just gonna be so easy once you learn all the basic patterns and how this tune goes, you're gonna know the entire tune and be able to play it for like hours on end and bug your parents. So we're gonna go four and then two, four, two, four, two, six. So the first one is three, one, three, one, three, one, six. The second part is four, two, four, two, four, two, six. We're gonna do just that chunk, okay? Four, two, four, two, four, two, six. One and two, and here we go. We'll do it one more time. One and two, and here we go. All right, now we're gonna build. We're gonna do what we call building the tune. So we're gonna start, we're gonna do the first part that we learned, and then we're gonna do that part. That's it, we're just piling it on like, like train cars. So we're gonna go three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two, four, two, four, two, six. All right, here we go. One and two, and here we go. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Four, two, four, two, four, two, six. Not bad. Nice. Good job. So because Irish music is patterned, we're gonna do that first chunk again as part of the tune. So it'll go three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two, four, two, four, two, six, three, one, three, one, three, one, six. How cool is that? Very cool. Let's do it all together. All right? One and two, and here we go. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two, four, two, four, two, six, three, one, three, one, three, one, six. And because Irish music likes to be complicated, we're gonna sneak an ending in there. And the ending is just one, two, three. That's all it is. Does that sound familiar to any of your recorder players? Yes. What does it sound like? Let's let these front row gals, what's it sound like? From what you learned in school. What? what? Hey, 10 points in the front row. Yeah, so that's all it is. It's the ending of the first part of this tune. It's just hot cross buns. So it'll go three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two, four, two, four, two, six, three, one, three, one, three, one, six, hot cross buns. <laughs> that's all it is. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? You guys can do this. Here we go. Nice and slow. 
One and two and hold things go. Three one, three one, three one, six. Four two, four two, four two, six. Three one, three one, three one, six. One, two, three. Wow. So, what did I say that Irish music is all, what does Irish music like to do? Build on patterns, right? So, what's an easy pattern that you can do in music? You can repeat the same thing you just played. So, when we play it in sessions, when we play this tune, we're gonna do that again, just in a row. So how exciting is that? We're not gonna do that right now, we're gonna let that be the exciting ending. You know, for okay. finale of the station. We're gonna go, cause you guys got this. We're gonna go straight to the B part. Are you ready? Oh, no. And the top one. Let's go. You're gonna play eighth notes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so the first part of the B tune sounds like this. Wait, oh, no. do we, do they, do, they don't just see natural. Right? <laughs> That's what it is. I did one of these natural. Yeah, okay. All right, so the first part is, So you're gonna play a high G, which means your, your air is gonna speed up a little bit because you're going a little higher. So we're gonna go three, four, five, six. One, six, all right? So it's gonna sound. Luckily, Irish music just loves to go up and down the scales, nice and simple. So we're gonna go three, four, five, six. One, six. <laughs> Nice and slow, we're gonna do that phrase together. Here we go, one and two, and here we go. Three, four, five, six, one, six. And this is a time where it's okay if your air gets a little faster because we're playing high up, so it's okay. And we're gonna try it again. All right, here we go. One and two, and off we go. Three, four, five, six, one, six. One more time. Yeah, this is this is really the toughest part of the whole tune, okay? So we're you're doing great. Here, one more time. One, two, here we go. Three, four, five, six, one, six. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo. That was good. Right. The second part, which sounds a lot like the first part, I wonder why, goes like this. bit different there at the end, but it's three, four, five, six, one, two. So yeah, yeah. So we're gonna try that that section here. Three, four, five, six, one, two. Got it? Here we go. One, two, here we go. Three, four, five, six, one, two. Alright. Now we're gonna do that that train car building. So we're gonna start at that first part. Three, four, five, six. Uh, one, six, yeah, one, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, all right, here we go, just those two bits, one, two, here we go, three, four, five, six, one, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, all right, we're going to do that again, because I just want everybody to feel more com most comfortable, because that is the hardest part of the two, here we go, one more time, one, two, off we go. Three, four, five, six, one, six. Three, four, five, six, one, two. Because Irish music loves to repeat itself, we're gonna do that first part of that tune again. And then, can anybody guess what the ending of the second part of this tune is? Oh, show sure don't tell, good job. Hot cross buns. So we're gonna go three, four, five, six, one, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, six, hot cross buns. You guys think we can do that all together? Like the whole thing? Are you, are you ready for this? All right, let's do it all together now. One and two, and here we go. Three, four, five, six, one, six, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, six, one, two, three. They did it! Word an entire tune. All right, let's see if we can put it all together. All right, so when we're putting it all together, because Irish, Irish music is built on what? Patterns. 
Now that's an Irish session, honey. <laughs> that's built on a lot of trust. Yeah. Um, Irish music is built on patterns. So we're going to play the first half of the tune. <laughs> Do we remember how the first half of that tune goes? We'll figure it out. <laughs> three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Four, two, four, two, four, two, six. Okay, so we're gonna play that first half, we're gonna repeat it, and do that twice, the whole thing twice, and then we're gonna do the B part, and then we're gonna do that whole thing twice. And that is exactly how the set, the tune would be played by professionals everywhere around the world in Irish sessions and pubs. We're gonna play the first tune, repeat it twice, play the second half, repeat it twice. All right. All right, nice and slow. We got Heidi here, guy again. Woo! <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm gonna start with three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two. All right, here we go. Ready? One and two, and here we go. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six, four, two, four, two, four, two, six. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. One, two, three. Again. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Four two four two four two six three one three one three one six hot cross bun. Second part. Yay! Three four five six one six three four five six one two three four five six one six hot cross bun. One more time. Three four five six one six. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, six, ready, hot, cross, buns. All right, who, who was like, I didn't get it 100% this time. It was hard, I didn't get all the notes right. Don't, there we oh, go. Man. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. When Irish musicians are learning a tune for the first time, just like you guys learned a tune for the first time by ear, they don't get all the notes right away. They sit and they listen, and they listen to other musicians play it over and over and over again. For years, many of us have to listen to that same tune a long time by many different musicians. And you start to pick up the, what's very popular in Irish music? Built on patterns. You start to pick up what the patterns sound like in a tune. And then maybe after a while you can get, so you can't get anything else. Then maybe after a few, after hearing it a few more times, then all of a sudden you can get, and you're like, I got like three fourths of the first part of the tune now because I picked up the patterns. That is exactly how Irish musicians learn and pick up tunes. And you have learned that today. Now, you let's play it all together. Should we speed it up? No. You might be outvoted, sweetheart, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna speed up just a little. Just a smidge. All right, and play it all together. Here we go. You guys Ready? got this. You got this. Ready? Go. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Two, four, two, four, two, four, six. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Hot cross buns. Three, one, three, one, three, one, six. Two, four, two, four, two, four, six. Oops, that was backwards. Three, one, three, one, six. Hot cross buns. Hi, G. Three, four, five, six. One, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, six. Hot cross buns. Again. Three, four, five, six. One, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, six. Hot cross buns. That was so oh, that's fantastic. Great job, you guys. You know, I heard people the second time around pick up a couple more notes, and I heard a lot of a lot of whistles, you know, who might be a little shy about that hard B part. Be like, I got hot cross buns down, and I got it. And that's exactly how Irish music is learned. So please keep learning how to play Irish music. Go to your local music store. Most local music stores will carry Irish whistles. So you can get one of your very own. These are our library whistles. So we'd ask for you guys to hand it back afterwards here. Uh, but thank you so much for coming and learning how to play Irish music. Thanks for having us again this yeah. year. Really? Yay! Yay! Thank, thank you, you so much. All right, if you want music, or if you want information on how to play Irish music, if you're a written kind of person, we got copies for as many people as would like copies. You can take the paper home, 
but we'd love to have the whistles back pretty soon we can use them again later. Thank you. Thank you, Heidi and Susan, once again, for great lessons. We'll have Father Kelly in here in just a moment, um, and we are going to end up having more people than we have chairs, so uh, if people just want to kind of fill up and fill up the chairs first, and then uh, we'll, we'll just have to ask you to stand in the back or, or the bleachers or whatever. Uh, if you see someone standing that you think maybe needs a chair, we will do you do, you know, please offer, and we'll Thank try to get so everybody comfortable here soon. Guys, come here. Wait, what's today? I don't know. Addie, what are you doing? 